guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be reviewing a toothbrush for you guys. It's from the brand Liabo and they have just recently launched in Amazon. I have quite a few electric toothbrushes in my collection so I thought it would be a great idea to compare a few for you guys so you know what you're actually buying and the price ranges between them and if they're actually worth it. Um, so this one is the electric rechargeable toothbrush and it has three different modes such as clean, whiten and massage. This one is a sonic toothbrush so it actually vibrates instead of rotating. The whiten mode actually vibrates 40,000 brush strokes per minute which is insane. You have a little cap which is actually really cool because you don't see any electric toothbrushes usually have these. You do get three heads in this pack so that's one two and three they have different colored bands on it so this one has a silver band at the base and this one's blue as you can see and that one's pink so you can share this toothbrush with um, family members because there is interchangeable heads the head does remove exactly the same as other toothbrushes if i can pull it <laughs> slot it in onto this little stick but there is a gap can you guys see that so it doesn't fit completely so this is the handle is relatively large compared to my hand um, but it's really thin and easy to grip and it's not too heavy either that's the on button and this button changes the mode so there's a clean mode the whiter mode and the massage mode and I'm just gonna let you guys hear the difference because it is pretty obvious that is clean mode that's the high pitched whiter mode which vibrates up to 40,000 times and that's the massage mode and you can see I have two gaps of battery left and when it's fully charged it'll be a solid free gap battery it lasts for up to two to three weeks if you're just using it by yourself. It does have a hole right at the bottom here for the charging stand which is like this. It's really really simple, it doesn't have too much like fancy lines going on so it's easy to clean and it just sits in like that. The base is actually quite wobbly so can you see it doesn't, it's not like a tight lock and there's no grip on it, it literally just stands in it and it wobbles about. So if you accidentally knock it, it will fall over. This toothbrush has a two minute brushing timer, which a lot of electric toothbrushes have. And you're supposed to split your mouth into four quarters. So like one, two, three, four. And you brush those areas for 30 seconds each and the two minute timer will stop. And with this model, it literally turns off after two minutes. Unlike other toothbrushes that I have, they usually just pulse twice and then the vibration will continue until you turn the device off yourself. But this one actually just shuts down, it just turns off completely. This one is obviously the Liabo, this one is the Oral-B Genius 9000, if that is correct. It's such a long name, I don't even know why. And this one I have reviewed for you guys on YouTube before. I will leave a link in the cards above so you guys can watch that video. It is the Foreo Issa toothbrush. Um, this is the adult size, but it looks really tiny compared to these two toothbrushes. This one is the cheapest. This one is uh, kind of like middle but it's still quite pricey and this one is high-end so the Labo on Amazon retails for $36.99 which is converted to £26.90 in the UK which is extremely extremely cheap for a toothbrush of this quality this one is the Oral-B Genius 9000 which I bought on um, no not Amazon <laughs> on Argos was £90 in the Christmas sale and it now retails for £105 which is actually really expensive for this toothbrush but I can understand why because there's so many functions to this one. Now the Ferrero is the most pricey and I saw it online on feelunique.com for £149. But I just don't like the design of this head, it's just so big and it's just 
ridiculous for the size of my mouth <laughs> and I haven't used it in ages there's actually no battery to it now so I can't even show you guys so this handle is really really tiny it's so comfortable it's like a soft smooth silicon and there are grooves in it though in the buttons like the plus and the minus buttons here which do leave dirt in and it will look really gross if you don't wash it really well um, so I don't really like that design but does it compare to the other two it doesn't have different functions in terms of um, whitening, massaging or cleansing. It's because it's all in this toothbrush head. This toothbrush head is quite expensive just for one, however it does have an outer ring of silicone bristles which does the gum massaging um, which other models have to choose a separate function for. And you can change the speed which will allow you to obviously adjust to your sensitivity. Again, other toothbrushes have the sensitivity function. Um, so this toothbrush is actually an all-in-one without you realizing. Um, so yeah, it's pretty sleek and I love the design. It's just so, so simple. Um, so yeah, that is, I'm guessing, why the toothbrush is so expensive. The Oral-B 9000, so this one has the removable head. The head actually rotates and it's in the typical circle style toothbrush and this head moves. And they do have colored rings on the base so you, again you can identify which toothbrush head is yours. So on the back it has a rubber silicone grip whereas the front is a glossy plastic cover. Um, it has a LED light ring here and this flashes in between modes and it actually flashes red when you're applying too much pressure on it. So this ring is actually really fancy and quite high tech and I'm not really sure if it's required. It is lighter than the Liabo but not as light as the Ferrero. The body length is exactly the same as my Liabo but the length of my Liabo head is actually a bit taller. There is a on button here. This button here changes between the modes. There is six different modes on this which is ridiculous and to be honest for the price I am really impressed with this. So that is the normal mode. The feather is a sensitive and you can see it vibrates a lot lower intensity. That actually whitens your teeth. A pulsing mode and that is to clean your tongue. I'm not sure whether you guys heard me talk through all those vibrations. Hopefully you guys can see and hear the difference. Um, there is Bluetooth, crazy crazy Bluetooth for a toothbrush is insane, which you can link to an app on your phone and it tells you how well you're brushing your teeth, it'll tell you about your pressure as well if you're the type of person that brushes your teeth too hard, it will tell you through the app. So it's really really fancy and very high tech. For the price I think this is definitely worth it. I don't go for it that often because there's so many modes that you don't even know sometimes which one you're pressing onto. It has a very weird way of turning off as well, so I'm just gonna show you guys what I mean. Power button turns it on. You press the power button again, and that stops the vibration, but it doesn't switch the device off until you press the mode button, and then it comes off completely, which is really confusing, and I don't know why they've done it like that, I mean, surely the power button should be the one that turns it on and off completely. So yeah, I, that was really confusing and I used to <laughs> struggle with turning this off. I would just press random buttons and then I would be like, oh, I just can't be bothered to use it anymore. Yeah. Ever since I got this toothbrush, I have been using it every single day because I do like my electric toothbrushes. I love how it feels when my teeth are super, super clean. And this does make my teeth feel really, really clean because it doesn't leave that waxy feeling or that waxy layer on top of your teeth. I actually really, really enjoyed this toothbrush head compared to these two. This one was too big, so it's kind of like an in-between these two in terms of size. It's narrow, which means it can get right into the back without feeling too bulky. I find when I use this one, my gums tend to bleed a lot because it's quite harsh on my gums because it's constantly rotating it but yeah overall this one has been fantastic I love using this one it's so easy to clean as well nothing really sticks to it because the back is smooth no lines or any sort of grip which the oral B does have and as you can see toothpaste does get stuck into this grip because it's just covered in dots 
And one last thing, the best thing about this toothbrush is that the head includes a tongue cleaner. Can you guys see that? It's got the little bristles on the back of the head to clean your tongue with. And none of these other toothbrushes actually have a tongue cleaner. This one has like a massager, which is not the same. And I've tried using it for my tongue before and it just doesn't work. So there you are, this is why I love this toothbrush and this is why I just had to review it for you guys because compared to the other two, even though it is the cheapest one out of the three, it works fantastically and the modes have everything you need. The only thing I would say is that um, maybe it would have been best to have a sensitive option as well because even though the clean mode is more gentler than the whiten mode, it is still quite intense. These two are also great, but like I mentioned, I do have flaws with these two choices, which I don't have with this one. So if you're interested, I will leave the link in the description box below for you guys to check out. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll speak to you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!